want to talk about a uh, an industrial dispute that's getting some coverage in the news this morning. Um, Chris Carhill, by the way, I we approached Chris Carhill of the New Zealand Police Association to describe his unions and his members' position on the platform this morning. And I think Benny basically said he'd never talk to me again. Basically, we're banned by, by the uh, Police Association. That's fine. Um, Chris, you're welcome on any time, but if, if you're childish enough to hold a grudge like that, well, that's your problem. Um, but there is a pay dispute between police officers and the government, which seems to me a little bit odd because this government said it was going to get tough on crime, and I think it's going to be hard to do that with a bunch of pissed-off police officers. So what is the government doing? Why is it taking this hard line? We are joined by the Police Minister, Mark Mitchell. Uh, Minister, good morning to you. Morning, Sean. Can you see why this looks weird to the country? Uh, National gets elected, same, or the coalition comes to power, saying we're going to get tough on crime. We're going to make the police officers go and take the patches off the gang members. And you're basically playing hardball on their wages. Well, look, we, we are, at the moment, we're in good faith negotiations and we're going to continue. There's a meeting today again um, between police and the association. Uh, we're going to continue. We're committed to engaging in those good faith negotiations um, and we're doing the best we can. Obviously, the country sees that we're in a tough financial situation. That's just the reality of the incoming government. We're not complaining about that. We're just getting on with it. But um, and in relation to being tough on crime, yes, absolutely. Um, we are going to be passing laws that are going to give the police additional powers. We have seen over the last six years a frontline police officer's job has become a lot more dangerous because there's been a lack of respect now with these gangs. They think they can run the show. They're carrying firearms. They're far more likely to use them. And, of course, the public um, are in harm's way as well. So, yes, we are fully committed to making sure that we yeah, get on Yeah, but hang on. Problems. So you are actually saying, OK, the poor economic performance is one of the reasons for the rise in crime. How can you not recognise that, and I know this is a government of austerity and cost-cutting, can't you say to police officers, you are the exception in these circumstances because you are the front line against the breakdown in our society. For God's sake, you guys campaigned on this. And it just seems a little churlish now to say, oh, no, we're going to ask more of you police officers uh, and we are not going to recognise the disproportionate burden you face for putting our society right. Well, me personally, Sean, I think the disproportionate burden has come from six years of a Labour government that has made their job much tougher and more dangerous. And we're committed to giving them the tools, supporting them and getting behind us to do that. Now, in relation to the pay negotiation, that is ongoing. And we are we are at the table of good faith. Um, and we are doing the best that we can. And police and um, the association are meeting again today, and I'm watching it very, very closely. Um, but you cannot be involved because it's, it's an operational man matter, I think. Yeah, it's a matter, yes, it's a matter between um, police and the association. That's why it's totally inappropriate for me as the minister to comment on that while those good faith negotiations okay. are, are underway. But, How do you but recruit the more is, police officers if you're not paying them well? Well, you know, that, that's obviously as a, a briefing to me as the incoming minister has highlighted some of those challenges around recruiting, but we're just going to be, we're going to focus on, on delivering the 200, the additional, sorry, 500 um, over two years. That is the goal um, that we've set. We're going to, the police are, are determined to, um, to be able to deliver on that as well. But I'm not, listen, I don't have my hand here in the sand. I know and I've been very clear and I've been very public about the fact that we've got headwinds and we're going to have to deal with those and, and lean into those.